Welcome back everybody. This is an old video, but I figured it was fairly important for us to go through it and break it down. It's very short, but very, very important. You guys are Walk your bikes. Walk your bike. If you're if you're up here and doing tricks and people well, I don't care. But once you get off of this, you can't ride your bikes down here. If you can pass that word along. I'll keep people from complaining to me and I won't come talk to you. So I just recently saw this video off of high impact flicks and uh, one of the things that he points out, which I thought was very interesting, is that this cop approaches these teenagers that are riding their BMX bike on the boardwalk in Long Beach and has a very calm, gentle demeanor. And he's explaining to him, hey, if you guys just walk your bikes, people won't complain to me and then I won't have to come talk to you. So walk your bikes. And what ends up happening is gold. Is there a law change? What's that? Is there a law change? Yeah, you can't ride your bikes on the boardwalk. When did that law change? Uh, it's been a law for quite a while. 16.16.502, specific sectional code that states you can ride your bicycles around out here. So I, I don't know what law you're referring to. This is why it's so important to be well informed. Now, obviously these kids, they've been doing this for a long time. They've been doing it at least long enough that they've been hassled over and over and over again to force them into doing the research to figure out the exact civil sectional codes that allow them to ride their bikes on a public walkway. And it seems like at this point of the interaction, even the cop doesn't know the civil codes. I don't know what law you're referring to. Okay, you want to go that way? We can go that way. I you mean... want to pull out your civic code and you want to look up the code 16.16.502 states that you can ride your bicycle out here. So if you want to come out here, you want to tell or people... Exactly where? The Rainbow Harbor Escalon, which is this entire area that you just parted to. From right. all the way at the end down there to all the way this around here. That's Rainbow Harbor Escalon, 15.15.6. Right. So did you get your law degree on Facebook or where did you actually obtain that? This is one of the things that irks me the most. When a cop, not only cop explains you, but tries to demean you by asking you where you got your law degree, whether it was on YouTube or Facebook or Google. Does it matter? Do you need a law degree to know and understand the laws that apply to you specifically? No. Does this kid say he knows all the laws? No. But as a law enforcement officer, you should know at least most of the laws. Especially if you're stationed in an area like the boardwalk, you should probably know all the codes and laws that pertain to your area of operation. However, this officer does not, and he's about to get served. Also, quick note, most law enforcement agencies do not require a law degree. Most of them, you only need a high school diploma, which I don't know what schools you guys went to, but my high school did not teach law or criminal justice. Now, there are some places that require an associate's, and federal policing agencies do require a bachelor's degree, but... Most of the time, you don't even need the degree to be in criminal justice. You can have a degree in nursing. And with that in mind, I would say that most citizens are just as informed as most LEOs. So did you get your law degree on Facebook or where did you actually obtain that? So do I have to have a, a law degree to be an informed citizen? Is that what you're saying? It's wrong to be informed. It's wrong to know the law. It's wrong, it's wrong to know your rights. Where you got it. Uh, I got it by knowing my rights. Is it wrong to know your rights as a citizen? Because last time I checked, when officers come and they try to invalidate your rights by telling you bullshit laws and enforcing their opinions, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to support the law. And when the law says that you can ride your bikes out here, you have no business coming up and harassing anyone telling them that they shouldn't ride their bikes. Oh, this is harassment now. I would say that based on this officer's stance, he, he seems pretty casual. And he probably doesn't even realize he's doing it. But I imagine that they understand a psychological form of intimidation involves putting your hand on your baton and your service weapon. When you tell someone to not ride their bike when they're legally able to ride their bike, yes, that is harassment. Your opinion is irrelevant. The law states we're gonna ride our bike. Now, do you have anything else to say or are you gonna leave us alone? You, you have want, a you, nice day. Yeah, you have a nice day. We're gonna There's continue riding on, man. On this, street right here. this is our ride. I've been riding here for six years. You know how many cops come out here and try to pull the shit on big, me? Dream yeah. big, dude. Dream big. Dream big, dude. Dream big. <laughs> 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 
I mean, at least dream bigger than being an LEO, please, for all of our sake. Hey, what was your name, officer? Uh, it's on the shirt. Okay. Lieutenant Cobo. I know. It's Lieutenant Cobo. Great. Have a nice day. Yeah, thanks, man. Hey, I appreciate you, you know, not, not giving a shit and walking away. Please stay informed and don't harass the public, all right? Yeah! 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 Yeah, we got the So, guys, that's how you handle a police officer, all right? You don't let the cops tell you that you can't do what you know you can do, all right? That's it, everybody. Moral of today's story is know your rights, be informed, and exercise them. Because the day you stop is the day you lose them. Mm-hmm.